Hi everyone, my name is Brad. I'm a student here at UNC, and I'm here today with Felicia Senka to talk about EOC and report and response. So Felicia, tell us a little bit about yourself. Awesome, I'm Felicia Senka. I use she, her pronouns, and I work as a report and response coordinator with the Equal Opportunity and Compliance Office. Um, I've been in this role for a little over two years now, but I've been working in this field for about eight years. So it sounds like you've been here for a long time. And I hear that you're a report and response coordinator. Can you tell us a little bit more about what that is? So a report and response coordinator, um, we, there's a team of us of four, and then we're led by the director of report and response within the EOC. And our role is to really um, intake in new information and reports to the EOC office, and also meet with impacted parties to help them better understand what their reporting options are, what support exists, um, and what other resources they might find helpful. And then we also meet with all parties involved um, in reports to EOC, whether that's to um, facilitate a resolution, help folks understand their rights, and what to expect when they're engaging with the EOC. So yeah, so I guess the report response is definitely part, like a big part of the EOC then. So what can you tell us about what the EOC is and how does it support the students here on campus? Okay, so the Equal Opportunity and Compliance Office, we manage the university's policies that are related to forms of harassment or discrimination that are based on protected status, uh, as well as um, information and policies related to incidents of sexual misconduct, interpersonal violence, and stalking. We also manage the workplace violence policy and also accommodations for both students and employees based on disability and religion. Um, so it sounds like you do a lot then to, to help the students here on campus. Um, I guess what advice do you have for students who may want to make a report? Like how, how will they know if the EOC is, is right for them? Yeah, that's a great question, and we don't expect everyone to be an expert on EOC policy, and that's really the reason why we have the report and response team. So if someone has an experience that they think might fall under harassment or discrimination, or if it just feels kind of wrong or off to them, um, we would love to talk with that person and help them better understand if EOC is the right resource for them, explain what options might exist with EOC policies, what kinds of support we might be able to offer them. And if we are not the right resource, we're happy to work with them to connect them to the next best step for them. Yeah, I think that that's really great advice. I think a lot of students could benefit from that. Um, and what maybe places or resources do you have for students to learn more about, about the EOC and what they do? Yeah, I, I think that the best resource for students, I know a lot of folks prefer to access information online, um, and maybe they want to check it out online before they call us or meet with us. And so the safe.unc.edu website is really the best like one-stop shop where students can learn more about how to file a report, um, more about EOC policies, and also about what other kinds of support might exist for them outside the EOC. So some of our confidential resources, like the Gender Violence Service Coordinators or CAPS or the Ombuds Office. Um, students can find information about all of those kinds of resources on the safe.unc.edu website. So if a student is interested in making a report um, to the EOC, what should they do? So students can reach out to us and make a report in a number of ways. Um, if they prefer to file a report online, you can do that on our website where there's an online reporting form. Uh, students could also reach out to the report and response team directly by emailing us at reportandresponse at unc.edu, or they could give us a call on our shared phone line. Yeah, and we'll put that number here on the screen if you want to pause and write it down. Well, that's all we have for today. Um, if you're interested in learning more, definitely feel free to visit safe.unc.edu, and we'll see you all next time.